Today we are headed to Hobby Lobby. It's been about a month since we've been there. I am excited to see if they have new things out today. So let's go shopping together and then we could come back here and I'll show you all the goodies that I got today. One of the first things that I came to was a huge selection of these baskets. Some of them were a set of six for $12 because they were 40% off part of the spring collection. Any color you wanted, they had it. I actually used the bigger version of these you see right there for my kids' hampers in their rooms. We wash clothes often here as a family of six, so their clothes fit perfectly in here. You can also use the smaller ones on stairs to take up things up and down the stairs. I have a small one under my sink for dirty rags. You could use these baskets in linen closets or in bathrooms, so many uses for those. Next, I went into the spring aisle. I saw these adorable little cups. I have no idea what you'd do with those, maybe an espresso shot. I just thought they were adorable. They were starting to put out their spring selection of hand towels and drying mats. The drying mats were 10 and the hand towels were eight. Of course, they were 40% off because they were part of the spring collection. I loved this pitcher. It was plastic, which I kind of like because it makes it not heavy. It had a beautiful green tint to it. It was originally 14 and then it would be 40% off. This one was also plastic, but this would make a great salad bowl or fruit salad. So many uses for that one. I loved the fun shape. I can just picture it out on a picnic table in the summertime. Next are the cutting boards, my favorite aisle. I actually have a few of these cutting boards. I just love looking down here and seeing all the wonderful items. Those trays down at the bottom, those are new for my store. They were 50, they were on sale. Most things in the store are going to be 40 or 50% off. So just keep that in mind when I tell you prices. I know that wood items tend to be more expensive in general, but I kind of felt like all of the items that I found today were a little bit more than they usually are. I don't know if they raised their prices recently. I tried to look it up for you. I couldn't really find anything online about it, but something to keep an eye out, I guess. I understand that's the way the world is right now, so nothing against it. I will still shop here and make sure that I am just buying things when they're on sale. I shared these containers in my last video, so I won't go into too much detail with these, but I'm kind of getting the itch to organize my kitchen really well, so I may need to stock up on some of these soon, but those ones were new. The famous egg chair, this was $4.28. I don't think it was on sale at this time, at least I didn't see anything to say that it was, but I love those black legs on it with the wicker. I think these are gorgeous. I am dreaming of spring when I see things like this. Let's head over to the display section. I love this area. And I was really surprised. It's only been a month since I've been here, but they were practically all new. So I don't really know how often they change these out, but I am excited to show you what I found today. This muted green base was so cute. I love those ones. Perfect for springtime. 
Setting those out in a bathroom would be gorgeous. I don't know, I always love green in a bathroom for some reason. It just feels organic and like you're part of nature. These wooden links, I know everyone loves these. These were $40. There was quite a few links and obviously you can get them on sale. This was a nice spring display with the beautiful flowers, the yellow and blue tones mixed together. I loved these pictures at the bottom. I thought they were just gorgeous. This floral picture was 18. I think it was 50% off this time, so it was $9. I tried to get the prices for you when I could. This cute little floral arrangement was $6. I saw this quite a few places in the store. I thought that it was pretty realistic and that would look great on a bookcase. I almost grabbed this beautiful art piece. I actually did put it in my cart for a little bit. I just did not have a spot for it, but it was $14 and then it was half off. So it was only $7. I thought that was a great price for that. Next we had this more vintage display. I thought these mirrors were pretty unique. This one kind of reminded me of like the anthro style mirror that's out right now. So the round one was 30. And just for size comparison, I wanted you to see how big this one was, but what a unique design on that mirror. I love that they have these displays. I feel like no matter what your style, you can find something in Hobby Lobby that would work well in your home. They have more rustic-y things. They have some modern pieces and everything in between. They have colorful things and neutral stuff. I just love looking in here. I feel like I always can find one or two things in Hobby Lobby. Here are those textured pots that are so popular right now, especially at Anthropology. And those ones there for a large size are about $100. So if you can grab one of these for half off, that would be a steal. This smaller one was $16 on sale, it would be eight. You could even spray paint just the green part or the whole entire thing and it would look exactly like a dupe for those more expensive ones. This little gold decorative piece was $10, but you could grab it for five. Just a nice little accent piece to put on a top of a stack of books or next to a vase if you need to add some height somewhere. The larger floral neutral piece that you see in the upper right hand corner was $28 and it was half off. I wanted to get some prices for you. It was really hard to see some of these prices. They have their displays set up so tightly. Here we are coming to another one. I loved those wooden bowls. I think sometimes that I miss things on the display because I am looking at one or two things and I miss some of the other things. 
these little home things. That was new for my store. I've never seen those before and I did get a price for you after I looked on the back of a few of them, but these ones were $10. I know there's been some debate whether the signs with writing are still in style or not, so let me know in the comments below if you still like those signs that have phrases on them. I loved this print. It did not have glass or anything on it, so I really loved that it had texture to it. This display was so pretty for spring. I loved that canvas art. I almost bought it, but again, I did not really have a spot for it, but I kind of think I need to go back for it. And I loved these muted blush color. This mug had a beautiful texture. It was $12, it was on sale. But changing out your coffee cups for the seasons, that's fun too, and just having a little pop of color there. This scalloped dish reminded me of the one that's at Target. Um, I actually have it in my own home, but this would be a great alternative. I liked the handles on it. It gave it a great dimension. Here is that canvas art piece. Oh, I loved it so much. This one was 22, but it was half off at the time of this recording. This little cute vase was adorable. It was 25, again on sale, but you know, similar to the things that we've been seeing from Studio McGee. This bowl was very beautiful. It was $45. I mean, if you can get it for 40 or 50% off, that would make it a great deal. You could put fruit in there. It could go on a coffee table or end table. So many fun options with that bowl. These vases were adorable. This was kind of a tan blush color. It was really hard to tell, but it was gorgeous. I loved that one and the green one as well. Maybe on a windowsill by your kitchen sink would be adorable. Some of these were really hard to see the prices on, but this beautiful linen one was $8 after being on sale. I also really liked this beautiful lake wood scenery. It had such gorgeous colors in it. This section, this would be so cute for a teenage girl's bedroom. The black and gold, white, maybe with some pops of pink in it. I was immediately drawn to this vase. This was $30. Grab it when it's on sale. I loved the texture to it. It looked like it had different dimensions and the coloring was very neutral and gorgeous as well. The great thing that makes bases so fun to decorate with is you can do a variety of things with them. You can leave them empty and they always look great on their own. You can add faux greenery, real greenery, or even beautiful flowers for spring or colored leaves for fall. There are just so many fun things and when you switch out what you have in your vase or leave it empty, it completely changes the look. And I think that's why they are so fun and special to decorate with.
This was a fun little section with those little trays with legs. And I don't know why, but I always think of these little containers right here with the green and the cream color. This would be perfect for a bathroom to hide your Q-tips and cotton balls and makeup cloths in. This section was really pretty with these pops of color. How cute is this little guy putting a small greenery stem in there and set it on your kitchen counter or even in a bathroom would be pretty as well. I am loving all the art pieces that Hobby Lobby has out lately. I'm a big fan of abstract art and they are just doing such a great job. This one was beautiful. If you like these more rich colors, this little canvas piece was $15, but it was half off, so only $7.50. This cute little vase here with this beautiful texture on it was $15. That would look great in a bathroom or even on a kitchen on a floating shelf. These were adorable. The smaller one was 18 and the larger one was 25, but fill those with candy and put them on a coffee bar. That would be so much fun. I love this type of vase. This one was $12. I just love that design. Put some pompous grass in there and that would be adorable on a bathroom counter. I liked this square tray. This was $18. Get it when it's on sale, but that could be a nice decor piece on a bookcase or even using it on your counter to store some odds and ends in. I always like checking out this section and I think I need to go back for one of those black containers for my coffee bar. If you watched that video, I was kind of looking for a black one. I did pick up something from this shelf, so stay tuned. I will show you all the goodies that I got at the end. I love decorating with black items in my home. It just gives a modern flair to a space. So this was a great section to check out. This picture was beautiful. It was $60, so if you can snag this at 40 or 50% off, that would be great. It's the perfect size for above a bed. This display was new for my store. Um, this set of two pictures over here were $60, but they were on sale for 40% off. I kind of feel like I've seen less and less of the farmhouse style. You'll have to let me know if you still like it. I never really got into it, but it's still beautiful in some homes. That tray up there was $33 and it was on sale. I loved this tray right here. It was $25, it was on sale, but next to a kitchen sink with your soaps and anything that you need to corral there, that would be a great little thing for. This huge tray was $50, but it was 40% off. But I love those tier trays to use as fruit stands or just to corral coffee items on.
This is a Lazy Susan and this thing is enormous. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. And it had those nice black handles on the side. If you had a fairly big kitchen counter, that would be a great find. It was $70 originally and it was on sale. These clocks are more modern, like maybe one of the most modern things that I've seen here. So I had to point those out to you. And next we're coming over to the famous mirrors. The really big anthropology one wasn't here today. It was at my store last time, trying to get my camera focusing there. That black one was 150, but all of these are on sale. Definitely don't pay full price for these. Make sure you get them when they're on sale. This one was new to my store. It was 500. It was on sale though. If there's a bigger piece of furniture, a couch, or even a mirror like these, I usually do spend a little bit more money than I would like on my vases. I make sure to get something that I know is quality and will last me for years and years to come. This is the smaller size of the Anthrodupe and it is 200 in case you can't see it. It is 40% off. I have seen these shorter ones online. So if you can't find it in your store, check online first. This painting was beautiful. If you had an office, that would be a great find for there. I wanted to check out the tray section for you. This one was actually lighter than I thought it was going to be, but that one was $30. Grab it when it's on sale. And I saw this marble and gold one. I mean, this is very popular. I even own one of these, but this one was $50. These little baskets are great for fruit and vegetables to sit on your counter. That one was $25. I found this little boho section. This would be so adorable in a girl's room or even a bathroom. I am still thinking about this vase. I may need to go back for it. This one was $25, grab it on sale on a kitchen counter with some beautiful white spring flowers that would be gorgeous or even on a coffee table would look great as well. I did like these black matte jugs. The smaller one was 22. 
but it does look like they might scratch easily, so just something to keep in mind. You could always spray paint it or cover it with chalk paint because that would be a matte finish as well. I loved all the art prints on here. They were just gorgeous and so serene looking with those nature prints. I had to look at this one. On sale, it would only be $10 if it was 50% off. That's a great find. You could put that on a bookcase or on a shelf. And then they had this black, darker section. I had to take a look at this base. This would be so cute with just a little stem in it. And that was normally $5. I think I must have like vision that's just honed in on all the bases. <laughs> this one was pretty with that green top on it and it was originally $13. I had to take us over to the greenery section. I was looking for something specific for something else I picked up in the store. I was looking for some small little flowers. I didn't really see what I wanted and let's be honest my little four-year-old helper was done at this point so I kind of had to hurry up through this section and they've been a little bit bare lately sometimes some things are full and then other sections if you can see down there there's a whole section down there that's not even full so I'm not sure why we can't get the floral in but I did find some good ones that I may use in the future. I had to look over here before we finish shopping in the store and this one I thought was really pretty with those neutral two-toned. That was $14, grab it when it's 50% off and it will only be seven. All right, are you ready to see what I got? Let's start with this beautiful print. This was originally 25, so it was half off. So it was 12.50. I love the colors in this and the frame is like a black wooden. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this. <laughs> I just got it and we'll see if I can find a spot for it. Hopefully I can because I love the moody colors in it. It's very pretty. Next up, I got this adorable little vase. This was originally 12, which I think is kind of expensive. Honestly, I felt like all the prices were a little bit more, so I don't know if they raised their prices. It's not a surprise. Everything has gone up, so it's I'm not mad about it or anything. They need to be able to make money. They are a business, but this one was $12. It has those little bubbles in it. It is a pretty green color. I have a blue one that's similar to this and I've really been wanting a green one because I like the green better than the blue. All right, next I got something that I have been wanting for a while. I saw it like two months ago. I wasn't sure if I wanted it and then I saw it. Someone else had it on Instagram and I was like, 
I need to go back for those. I was just waiting for them to be on sale and honestly I think they're getting rid of them or phasing them out because there were three left and I bought two. It is this adorable base. So this one was originally 25. I love the gold mixed with the more matte clay on the bottom. I think it's a unique design and I think this will be t a timeless classic piece that I'll be able to use for a long time. This may go on my bookcases. It may go on a kitchen counter somewhere. I'm not sure yet, but I loved it and I had to have it. So I did get the taller version of this one as well. This one was 35, half off. So that's good, but I love these. I have been craving, wow, it's echoey. <laughs> I have been craving more gold. I do love gold. It brings like a nice classy elegance into a space. And I've been having so many vintage pieces around and matte pieces. I wanted something a little bit more fancy. So I think this one may go on my kitchen island. We'll have to play around with it. I'm doing a kitchen video later, so I don't want to do any spoilers, but this is probably going to go on my kitchen island because it's so adorable. So to go along with those two, I was looking for greenery at Hobby Lobby and I didn't see what I really wanted. I was looking for some little white flowers, kind of like baby's breath, but not quite like that. And I couldn't find anything that I loved. So I did pick up these. Now these are more fall leaves. Um, let's see, they were $7. They were 50% off, so $3.50 a piece. I thought that the coloring looked good with this, but I'm not sure. And because I couldn't find those white flowers, this was the next best thing that I found, but I'm worried that it's gonna look too fall. So I'll try it. If it doesn't work, I will save these for fall because I really love the muted colors on these. So that was my Hobby Lobby haul. Today I am working on where I'm going to place these items and I will share that with you soon in a video. I have a lot of fun things planned for my channel. I am very excited with the direction I see my channel going from now on. So I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you back here soon.